In the late afternoon, from deep in the mountains, the Francois monkeys call it a day and go home. The optical cables are their main route back. Francois monkeys live in groups of usually around three to 10. A large group has about 20 monkeys. Its only adult male is the patriarch. It walks ahead and keeps a distance of about 50 meters from the rest. In case there are signs of danger, it can send warning signals in time and lead the group away. The monkey set up home in a cave near the village. It is fewer than 100 meters from the villagers' houses, with an open cornfield in the middle. When they are about to arrive, the alpha male gets off the cable first and stands where it gives him the widest range of vision to stand guard for the family. The corn stalks are a meter tall and growing fast. The corn cobs in the leaves taste fresh and tender. It is like a midnight snack for them, although they do not eat too much. It is part of their routine upon getting home each day. For the owner of the cornfield, the hope for a harvest this year has been dashed. Since the Francois monkeys settled here, crop failure has become the norm, and they are used to it already. It's getting late, and it's time to go home. They are all too familiar with their home in the cave. Yet every time, the alpha male goes in first to check. Upon discovering nothing suspicious, other members follow suit. Kinglong Village is located in the Myang River National Nature Reserve. Of all the world's habitats of the Francois monkeys, the reserve has the densest and largest population. More than 70 groups of nearly 600 monkeys live here. Most canyons sit below an altitude of 800 meters in the region. These places, which discourage human activities, have become a paradise for the Francois monkeys. While above the altitude of 800 meters, with a flat and open area, is where humans settle down. The habitat of the Francois monkeys is relatively fixed. Their home range is about three to five square kilometers. Close contact with humans is inevitable. In early summer, when villagers are about to harvest, ripe loquats and peaches, the uninvited Francois monkeys swarms in. After the chaos, only a few fruits that are not ripe enough to eat are left on the tree. For the occasional intrusions of monkeys, local people have an open mind. At 800 meters above sea level, there is an unspoken border between Francois monkeys and humans. They live on their sides separately and harmoniously as good neighbors. <laughs> 